Hey guys, welcome back. Finally, I have the new Motorola Moto G third generation right over here. So we are gonna unbox this. This is Nakul from Tech Boy. Let's get started. So here it is guys, nicely wrapped in the bubble wrapper, so let's peel it off. And here we go, the box of the new Moto G 3rd generation and we got the Airtel 4G SIM along with the phone. So let's take it off. There we go, the 4G SIM of Airtel. Anyways, so here is the box guys. Now before I unbox it, let's take a look at the box. Now it's definitely smaller in the height than the previous box, but yes, it's broader. So over here it says Moto G. We have some EMI e stickers. On the right we have nothing at all. On the top we have a sticker from the Flipkart, I guess. On the left again nothing at all and at the back we have some specifications so let me read it out really quickly for you guys uh, let the camera focus so over here it says Moto G is full feature smartphone that is both powerful and affordable designed to look as good as it feels Moto G is built to last okay so we have sharp 5 inch HD display with corning gorilla glass IPX7 water resistant 13 megapixel rear camera with color correction, temperature, CCT, dual LED flash, 5 megapixel front facing camera, powerful 1.4 GHz quad core processor, pure Android experience for superior performance. So that's what we have. Plus we do have some logos over here like 4G and this stands for dual SIM I guess. And this is for long lasting battery, I hope so, and SD. Now this phone does have expandable storage so that's pretty cool and here we have the seal, the Motorola seal and this is the M if you can see. Anyways let me peel it off so then we can unbox the device. And unfortunately I'm unable to peel it off as you can see I tried from the both sides so anyways I'm gonna cut it off so here we go. There we go. So let's open the box now. Here we go. And here we have the Moto G 3rd generation right on the top guys. So let me put it aside for right now. Let's see what else do we have. And here we have the standard USB to micro USB cable. So I don't think I need to open this. Anyways. And then we have the headphones. Now I'm definitely gonna open this one. There we go. So we have the same headphones which we got with the Moto G 1st gen and 2nd gen. And the same headphones which we get with the Moto E as well. Full 3.5mm jack. And here we have the microphone with the clicky button to receive and disconnect the calls. It says M on it but nothing special but I'm glad that they provided the headphones at least because these days nobody is providing headphones with the phone anyways then we have the charging brick I'm gonna try and open this packed mm, really tight So here we have the charging brick, pretty amazing I would say because it's really sleek and slim and this tiny M looks really nice but the best thing is this, you get two USB ports. Now this is pretty cool if you ask me, really like this guys and I'm really sorry about the camera focus but as you can see 
two USB ports. So I'm really happy with the charging brick. Pretty tiny and small. Plus two USB ports. Now this is a really nice thing. Plus we have some documentation. Motor E third generation readme. Mujhe pane in Hindi. Say smart protect again in Hindi and lastly we have the Motorola Mobility Limited warranty for mobile phones so that's all we have for the documentation readme and say smart protect and both the ones in Hindi as well as you can see so that's all we have in the box so let me put all this aside and then we'll turn on the device guys so here it is guys the new Moto G third generation right in my hand and we have this film over here it says 4G micro sim which is dual sim and IPX7 waterproof 30 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera 5 inches HD display and quad core processor so that's what it says so let me peel it off I love doing this guys anyways so here it is plus at the back we have some instructions on how to open the back door. So let me take it off this also. Here we go. So we have really nice back cover. It is textured as you can hear and probably see as well. The lines are going vertical like this. Really nice looking back. So let me take off the back cover and see what you get inside. Here we go. So obviously the battery is non-removable and looks pretty packed. And this is your SIM 1 right over here. Uh, let the camera focus. Wait a minute. Here we go. So this is the SIM 1. This is SIM 2 and this is your micro SD card slot. And we have the 3 megapixel camera, dual LED flash. So yeah, looks pretty good and the quality is really nice as well, I must say. And here we have the locks. And they have kind of a rubber thing around them to get it all waterproof or sealed so the water won't go inside. So yeah, pretty nice. Anyways, let's put it back and then we'll turn on the device. So here we go. Now let's turn it on. And here we go. And it says Android is upgrading. Anyways, that's gone. Next. So the phone started pretty quickly. Oops. Yeah, skip anyway. Accept and continue. Yeah. Next. Skip. Skip anyway. Okay. Maybe later. And here we go, the phone has started guys. Let me turn down the brightness. And here it is. So on the front we have the 5 megapixel camera. And we have front facing dual speakers, I hope so. Or at least we have the one of them, which is in the front. And then on the right we have the power key and the volume rocker. And the power key is textured. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera or not. Probably not, but it's textured. So you can get a good grip on it. And on the top we have the secondary microphone with the 3.5mm jack. 
on the left we have nothing at all and at the bottom we have the sinking and charging port but I don't know where is the main mic probably in here in the speaker grill I hope so and at the back as you know 30 megapixel camera with the dual LED flash so let's see anyway so now let's go in the settings and here's the loudspeaker so let's go even better let's go in the about and see the android version first and here we go we have the android version 5.1.1 so that's the latest one pretty good plus the phone is also a bit sleeker than the previous phone and it's more slim and compact in the hand I would say and the screen looks really flat I mean look at this feels really nice in the hand so let's hear the loudspeaker now here we go Okay, so we don't have the dual loudspeaker, but we have only single loudspeaker, which is the bottom one right over here. And it's pretty loud, I would say pretty loud. But uh, I'm not sure about the quality right now because I can't find any ringtones with the good treble or vocals. So I would surely test it with the songs, real songs, and would tell you about it in the honest review video of this phone. So now let's go in the camera and see the camera interface real quick. Okay, so it says tap anywhere to take photo hold for multiple shots next drag up and down to zoom Okay Twist your wrist twice quickly to open camera the same motion suggest to the front camera too. Okay, that's cool Okay, so over here we have the gallery and here we have the settings Okay, so same as before almost we have the HDR flash and we have the touch focus and stuff like that okay so we can increase the brightness like this and turn it down like that so that's pretty cool and you can drag this to focus and set the exposure and then we have the low light get higher quality photos in dark situations or at night okay so we have the night mode as well then we have the video mode or the video setting it is on the full HD 1080p plus we have the slow motion which is at 720p and then we have the white screen or the standard let's keep it on the standard because that makes more resolution there is a 13 megapixel and white screen would go at the 9.7 megapixel so if you want more larger photos in terms of size and pixels I would suggest to choose the standard 13 megapixel and then we have the self timer and then we have what is this okay so I don't know what is this maybe we have to turn it off oops turn it off and yeah so this is the panorama we have to turn the night mode off in order to use the panorama so keep that in mind so this is panorama and this will turn on when we insert the SD card this is the SD card storage option and then we have the geolocation not now the sound of the camera shutter sound as you can see plus the gesture twist your wrist twice to launch the camera at any time try it turn on okay wow that's cool and if I twist it again it will it should actually turn on the front facing camera so let's try that and here we go so that's pretty cool really nice gesture and lastly let's take a look at the dialer the same stock android dialer recent contacts 
and speed dial plus we have the settings general dial pad tones also by wait for calls quick responses and stuff like that calling account so you have great phone plus it's waterproof so we are definitely gonna test that also in upcoming videos plus I will tell everything about this phone in the honesty video so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you have any questions regarding this phone or is there anything specific you wanna know about this phone then put it in the comments down below I will try my level best to include that in the honest review video. So make sure if you have any question, anything you want to know, then put it in the comments down below. So that's pretty much it for right now guys. This was the unboxing video of the new Motorola Moto G 3rd generation. If you like my videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up. It will really help me a lot guys. And again, if you have any question, comment, suggestion, put it in the comments down below. You can also catch me on my Facebook page. The link of that page will be in the description below. So go and like me there as well. And once again, thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.